Getting to know your Dana RS insulin pump. The Dana RS insulin pump has four buttons, plus, minus, right, and okay. Plus and minus are more often than not your edit buttons. Right is always directional, and okay can mean yes, enter, or move forward. Let's get a battery into the pump. You'll have a battery key included in your kit. This key will fit in the battery cap slot perfectly and turning anti-clockwise will loosen off the cap. When inserting a battery, make sure the positive terminal of the battery goes down so the flat side is facing you. Push down against the springs, get the cap to catch in the thread and tighten off the pump. You might notice that the top of the battery key can act as a wrench for the cartridge cap on the pump. This should only be used if the cartridge cap has been over tightened and you need to loosen it off. Otherwise, only ever screw the cartridge cap on finger tight. The pump should have opened up to the home screen. On the home screen, you have the date on the top left, the time in the top right, the insulin indication in the bottom right as both a number and an icon, and the battery indication. The small flashing B just off left of centre tells you that basil's being delivered. It's flashing so that you know the pump's not frozen. In the centre of the screen, you have the basal rate being delivered, as well as the percentage of the basal rate profile that you're running. If you have a temporary basal rate running, that percentage will change to reflect that. If you have the pump in aeroplane mode, a small picture of a plane will appear in the bottom of the screen here. If you have the pump in button lock mode, a small picture of a padlock will appear on the bottom of the screen here. If you're running any extended boluses, that information will appear under the date in the top left. Pressing OK will take us to the main menu. The first option inside of the main menu is Review. Pressing OK on Review will take you to that submenu. More information is the first option in the Review submenu. Pressing OK on more information will show you three important data points. Active insulin or insulin on board, your daily total keeping a running tally of insulin usage from midnight, and pre-bolus or previous bolus. Pressing OK will let you leave. The second option in the review submenu is history. The pump retains 90 days worth of data and inside of history you can find all the information that it's keeping. Pressing right will scroll through your different headings. Pressing OK or change the dates that you're looking at. The third option in the review submenu is shipping information. Inside of shipping information, you'll find the serial number of the pump, the country that the pump was manufactured for, the date of manufacture, as well as the firmware version. Pressing OK will let you leave. Minus will take you back a step and allow you back into the main menu. Pressing right once will take you to Bolus, something we've explored in another video. Pressing right again will take you to Suspend. If you press OK on Suspend, the pump will immediately stop delivering insulin and you will receive an alarm for each hour the pump is in Suspend. There is no reason to ever suspend the pump. If you need to, you can set a 0% temporary basal rate or unclip your cannula from the cannula site. If you do put the pump into suspend, you must remember to prime as some air may have gotten into the tubing. Right once again will take you to button lock. Button lock will immediately lock the pump's buttons and require your password before the pump will open up again. Right once again will take you to temporary basal. Pressing OK on temporary basal will allow you to program a temporary basal rate. Plus and minus are just the number of hours that the temporary basal rate will last for. Pressing right will allow you to adjust the percentage that the temporary basal rate will run at. Press OK. Pressing right again will take you to basal, something we've also explored in another video. Right once more will take you to the refill menu. This is involved in the priming of a cartridge and the preparing of your pump. Again, something we've explored in another video. Right again will take you to the option cog. Pressing OK on options will lead you to the options submenu. Clock settings, user options and aeroplane mode. 
User options is something we've discovered in another video. Airplay mode is a toggle. When airplay mode is on, the Bluetooth is off on the pump. If airplay mode is off, the Bluetooth is always on, even when you're not communicating with the phone directly. Clock settings is where you'll make changes to your date and time. The date is presented in an American format. Pressing right will allow you to cycle through the editable options, and you may need to adjust your time here, plus and minus to make your changes. Press OK, and OK again to save. Minus takes you back to the main menu, and minus again turns you to the home screen. 